Hello traders, this is Elizabeth Bilugina and you are watching Stock Market Review by Tradimo. It's Tuesday the 11th of June and S&P 500 tested levels around 29.10 but then turned lower. Uh, there was resistance in the mentioned area, 78.6% Fibonacci retracement of the decline from uh, highs of May to the lows of June. Now the main level to watch on the downside is 28.70 and if the stock market slips below this support, we will have a look at 28.45 and 28.17 mark. On the one hand, um, the market sentiment was supported by the fact that trade tensions between the United States and Mexico east and that there are more signs of fiscal stimulus in China. On the other hand, the market is still worried about trade tensions between the United States and China. Donald Trump tried to uh, threaten the Eastern economy at the start of the week. So things uh, still are very uncertain. The bets of rate cuts by the Federal Reserve have intensified and the market now projects two cuts in 2019. This helped stock markets recover in June. But uh, for now, we can see that the bullish momentum slowed and although some individual stocks tested record highs, uh, investors are still not sure that this rapid recovery really is what uh, should happen right now and uh, fear that um, more consolidation and more thinking about the future is necessary. Technological companies firstly increased and then went down. If we look at the chart of advanced micro devices, we can see that the stock tested record high earlier this week on the news that it will partner up with Microsoft for the new Xbox. However, now we see a correction from this strong resistance level. And if we need to locate some support for the stock, we would uh, mention the levels around 30 and lower around uh, 2780 mark. Other interesting stocks are Grubhub. Here the stock increased on reports that Amazon is shutting down Amazon restaurants delivery service this month. Uh, however, we can see that significant resistance is located just above $72 and more significant advance will be possible only above that level. Boeing is on the downside and we will likely go towards 340 level as it turned out that companies' deliveries declined in May by 56% on the annual basis as many of the company's planes were grounded because of safety problems. The stock of United Technologies is slumping down uh, rapidly. The company has recently announced its merger with Raytheon. However, for now, the near-term prospects are not as mm, rosy. We do not think that it is necessary to catch the falling knives right now. In the long term, the merger may be positive, but for now, we can see that um, analysts fear and downgrade the stock. So uh, the current levels do not appear as really attractive. Maybe the situation will improve if we get um, above resistance in the area of 136. In this case, the stock will get a chance to retest the record high seen in April. So far, the picture looks like a technical top is taking place here. And finally, the stock of Beyond Mead, uh, which was in the spotlight for the market during the recent days declined by more than 20% on Tuesday 
As one of the stock's lead underwriters, JP Morgan downgraded it, saying that exponential growth expected from the plant-based burger is already priced in, so this kind of increase is unreasonable. And Beyond Meat's forecast sales to more than double this year, uh, still this kind of reversal after the attempt to break higher levels, let us think that the price may try to go uh, lower and maybe stabilize around 120, 110 in the upcoming sessions. Thank you for your attention and uh, subscribe to Tradimo YouTube channel.